Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial, the second in a series of tutorials about the new code review feature that was introduced with the 6.0.1 release of Rational Team Concert. This video explains how to configure code review for your project and will be of interest to project administrators or anyone who will be defining the code review workflow for their teams. The information described in this video series can be found in our user guide, which is available on our wiki at the URL listed here. To access the wiki, you will need an account on jazz.net, and it's free. Links to other videos in this series can be found in the user guide, or you can simply search for Rational Team Concert Code Review in your preferred search engine. If you haven't done so already, I recommend watching part 1 which gives a brief introduction to code review. So today we're going to show you how to add the code review presentation to your work items and how you can optionally use process preconditions to enforce certain behaviors or policies in your team's workflow. Let's look at code review presentation which is all you really need to get started. Here is a work item that has a code review presentation. It shows the target stream where the changes will be delivered, the associated change sets, a summary of issues, and a button to take you to the code review. Having the information on the approvals tab makes sense, since you can see the review status and the approval states all in one view. Generally, Several work item types such as defects, tasks, and enhancements involve code changes and require approvals. We'd want code review to appear for all of these work item types. Now, let's walk through how we set this up. I'm going to use the JUnit sample project that I just finished installing on my workstation. From the web client, log in to the application administration page. From the admin drop-down, select Manage Project Areas. Select the JUnit project. In the left-hand panel, select Work Items and Editor Presentations. You can select an editor presentation to edit, but I'm going to leave the default. This is because I want to add the code review presentation to an existing section called Approvals that I know is used by this editor. Select the Approvals section and click on the Add Presentation button. You will see a warning that the approval section is shared by other editor presentations. Any changes you make to this tab will be reflected in all work item types that have an Approvals tab. As I mentioned earlier, we want code review on all relevant work item types, so this is exactly what we want. For the JUnit project, Defects, Stories, Tasks, and Epics will have the code review presentation. Let's click OK to proceed. Now in the Add Presentation dialog, select the Non-Attribute Based Presentation radio button. Under Kind, select Code Review Summary. You can add a label in the description if you like, but I'm not going to. I'll just click on OK. You can see the Code Review section has been added. I'm going to save my changes. That's it. We now have our JUnit project configured for code review. You can configure existing preconditions to ensure your organization's policies are enforced before allowing code changes to be delivered into production. There are two existing preconditions on the deliver operation. The first requires a work item and or comment when a change set is delivered. Require Work Item Approvals specifies which approval types, approver roles, and number of approvals that are needed in order to deliver a change set. Two new preconditions have been added to the Work Item Save operation specifically for code review. Require Approver to review all files ensures that approvers have at least opened the files and hopefully looked at them before approving the work item. Requires Must Fix Issues Resolved Before Approval prevents a reviewer from approving a work item when they have unresolved must-fix issues. Reviewers will be able to approve the work item only when all issues they have opened are resolved or the must-fix flag has been removed. 
This concludes our tutorial on how to configure code review for your project in Rational Team Concert. Please feel free to submit your comments, questions, or feedback. Thank you for watching.